to my channel, welcome to today's video. It's very quick, what I got for my birthday video. <sighs> there is, in the YouTube community, some discord about whether these videos are, are good to do or not, because um, it can be seen as bragging. But nobody gave me a Lamborghini. I'm not showing off anything very exotic. I'm just showing you what my friends gave me for my birthday and I'm delighted with all my gifts and I want to be able to say thank you. So that's what this video is all about. But also, I want to draw your attention to this. Strictly speaking, what I'm about to show you, not a birthday present. What's it doing in this video? It arrived on my birthday. Since it is a beautiful item, which I am delighted to own, and it arrived on my birthday, I'm getting it in this video. I've got a Teddy Blake bag. Teddy Blake design dream handbags with a team of Italian designers pitched from well-known luxury brands. Teddy Blake create handbag designs for every style choice. And if you can't see something that suits you yet, you can subscribe and they release new collections every month. Their designers work incredibly hard to develop new and unique designs whilst also trying to keep the price point to affordable levels. The leather bags are made from premium Italian leather and you can enjoy the luxury feel and smell of real leather as they're all made with leather from Italy's finest pelletries, dyed and treated to withstand the test of time and maintain a luxurious look. Their experienced craftsmen work in the same Italian factories as other luxurious brands and they follow the knowledge gathered from decades of experience in the luxury leather industry. They're going to turn your Teddy Blake bag into a work of art and they are truly made in Italy. Respecting the label's history, making sure that each Teddy Blake bag is characterised by high quality construction, attention to detail, imaginative design, shape and durability and using the same exquisite materials as all luxury brands. They never compromise on quality. Is it impossible to democratise luxury? No, Teddy Blake made it possible by offering designer handbags with all the key characteristics of any high-end luxury house and removing the one to two thousand dollar price tag that's added to the handbag cost for just the label. With Teddy Blake, you can enjoy luxury at a fair price, always. So when Teddy Blake got in touch with me and asked me if I'd like to review one of their gorgeous handbags, what could I say? I love handbags. I am a handbag girl. But I am one of those handbag girls who buys a bag, uses it for a week and realises this is not the right bag for me. Hopefully this Teddy Blake beauty will be different. It is a thing of gorgeousness. It comes in beautiful packaging for starters. Let me show you this lovely box. So it came in a massive, obviously there's an outer box as well. It arrived in this lovely box. I've got a nice big box for packaging as well. Inside the lid here, it says Teddy Blake New York, designer handbags made in Italy, luxury leather. Each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice. I'm not a guru. I'll be the first to tell you I'm not a fashion guru, but I'm gonna feel like one carrying this bag. Inside that gorgeous box, there is a lovely bubble that bag. I do like a bubble that bag. And every Teddy Blake handbag comes in its dust bag. It's a thing of beauty. Wait till you see this. I am a sucker for animal print. Teddy Blake, as you will have seen in that website clip that I just showed you, have the most stunning range of leather bags. And I sat there and I scrolled through and I drooled a bit and thought, oh, a lovely leather bag, a lovely leather bag. But then this one caught my eye. And I'm a sucker for animal print. This is more of a overnight or office style bag than it is a classic handbag. Because this is a big bag. You get a lot of stuff in here. Look at this beauty. It is leather tool in the, around the um, trim. It smells amazing. It smells gorgeous. But it is a fabric bag. And I thought that was better for me. The lifestyle that I lead, I thought a fabric bag was better for me. All of the insides are padded. So if you were to put your laptop or your MacBook or whatever in there, you could feel quite confident that it would be safe. It's got padded pockets for your phone and all of that. It's just a gorgeous bag. But also... I could use this as an overnight bag. If you were just going for one night and you were going to get away with maybe wearing your same jeans two days running, taking a change of underwear and a clean t-shirt, this bag is going to do it because there's room there for your toiletries. It's got the matching long strap as well. But there's room for your toiletries and your overnight bits and bobs. There's an outside slip pocket this side. There's a slip pocket that side. There's my Teddy Blake tags on there. Look, still, still intact. I just love it. I love the colour. I love purple. I love animal print. I'm a woman of a certain age. We we get a bit bet lynch, I think, in our in our later years. Even the strap is a thing of beauty. 
I never got so excited about a strap before. Keep quiet in the cheap seats. Let me just put the strap on. There we go. That is a lovely bag. Like I said, for, I don't work in an office, but if I did, off I could go to the office with my MacBook. That would also be good for me to take to work because I can get my lunch in there and I like a large lunch. It's a roomy, roomy bag. It might be too big for some people to class it as a handbag, but I think if you're the kind of person who lugs half the world around with you, this is the bag for you. I want to say thank you to Teddy Blake for sending me this bag to review and especially thank you for it arriving on my birthday because that was cracking timing. It just made my birthday that bit extra special. Please do check out the Teddy Blake website. The links will be in the description box below and I hope you like what you see because I'm in love with them. Absolutely in love. Let me show you my other birthday gifts. So in no particular order, I have got, uh, let me show you one you've seen before. If you watched my weekend birthday vlog, you've already seen this one, so it won't be a surprise to you. It's from Andrew and Nick, and it is the vase that I saw in Wilco when I went shopping with Caroline. We had a day out in Bridgewater a couple of weeks ago, and I vlogged my day, and this went in. She've got my flowers to put in as well, so it wouldn't look too empty. But it's just the most beautiful ombre copper. I love it. I think that's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And, uh, and I love it to bits. And like I said, I saw it in this vlog and went, oh, I love that, but I shouldn't really buy another vase. And Andrea treated me to it. So thank you so much, Andrea. I absolutely love that. I think it's gorgeous. I should drop hints to my children to buy me flowers regularly to put in it. Speaking of flowers for my children, Anthony got me an orchid. And isn't it a gorgeous shade of blue? He knows I love an orchid. There's one in the kitchen windowsill. It's so funny. I've had it... Natalie bought me it for Mother's Day and I've had it about four years and the first year it flowered beautifully and the next two years it was just a stick with a couple of leaves and I kept looking at it thinking well I could get rid of it but the leaves look healthy enough perhaps I'll keep it a bit longer and then this year it flowered and it stayed flowered it's flowered now for months so Anthony got me this blue one and he said to me it was reduced mum I hope that's okay and it was it was looking a bit tight but it's in gorgeous fettle now and of course it's okay that it was reduced I'm, I'm all for saving a buck or two so this was from Anthony and then he also did me um a couple of hours gardening normally I pay him for gardening because at the end of the day that's his job so if he's doing my garden he's taking time out where he's not doing somebody else's but he did me a couple of hours gardening for free so that he'd get the garden ready for the barbecue that I had and so I had my orchid and a couple of hours gardening and I chuffed a bits with that really pleased and let's see if I can keep this for a life for four years because I'm quite impressed plainly orchids don't need a lot of input because no plant in my house gets any input and it's managed to stay alive four years this came in the post from Lainey I don't know if you quite see this my birthday card from Lainey is just out of shot there oh there it is I did show my birthday cards in my birthday vlog so you've seen these already but this came in the post and it is a stunning again love a bit of purple stunning soft cover notebook with floral page edging is that what that's called page trim it's one of those notebooks that i probably won't write in for ages because it'll be too nice to spoil it you know you know those notebooks when it's can't write in that it'll ruin it if i i'll ruin it if i if i make a mistake and have to cross it out i'll spoil my entire notebook if you are a stationary addict you know what i'm saying there you understand where i'm coming from but it is beautiful thank you laney i love it my present from lex is not a tangible thing that i can show you but she's bought me a ticket for the mousetrap. So excited. If you don't know the mousetrap, it is um, the longest running play that's ever been in the, in the West End. It's coming to the Hippodrome next year. So my ticket that she's bought me for this birthday, I'll be able to use next July. <laughs> but it's Agatha, Christ it's Agatha Christie's most famous piece of work. And it's been the longest running play in the West End for I don't know how many years. And I've never seen it never seen it so I'm really really excited about that. Lex and I have tried to buy each other a bit more experiency things than, than thing things this year so I've got her a ticket we're going to see the Rocky Horror Show outdoor cinema next week so that was that was good too. Heather brought me this wonderful poster to go on my hallway gallery which says in this house we hate the Tories. Enough said. <laughs> And then she also bought me a matcha roll bubble bar. So it says, this is from Lush, and it says crumble as much of a bar as you like under warm running water to create a mountain of luxurious film star bubbles. For reusable bubble bars, simply, I've, I've ripped off, I've ripped a bit of the label, so simply something in your bath water. I think it says wish, whisk them in your bath water or hold under the tap for a blissful bubble bath. So I've got a matcha roll. It's very pretty. It smells amazing. I'm going to keep it I'm going to break off bits to use, but I'm going to keep the main piece in my underwear drawer and then I'll have nice smelling undies. 
Do you remember when you always used to have scented drawer liners or your nan used to? They don't, I don't think they're really a thing anymore, but when I was a kid, your nan had scented drawer liners and when you opened her a knicker drawer, it was your old bars of soap. They used to put bars of soap in with stuff, didn't they? So you'd have the linen drawer in my nan's house. There was the linen drawer that had the um, tablecloths and things like that in there and there was always bars of soap in there to keep that smelling nice. Tammy gave me a £25 Amazon voucher, which is specifically what I asked her for. I did not, I didn't ask for the amount, but I said I like an Amazon voucher. So she gave me a £25 Amazon voucher, but she also got me the Richard Osman book, The Man Who Died Twice. This is the second book by Richard Osman. He's the chap who does um, Pointless, or he did do Pointless, he left Pointless now, and he does Richard Osman's House of Games. I really enjoyed his first one, The Thursday Murder Club, and this is the second one featuring those characters. So quite looking forward to this one. She knows I wanted that for a while, I think. From Joshy. Josh and I went shopping in Yate on Friday and we popped into Yours Clothing. I had a pair of trousers to take back and I, ex I was exchanging, they was, I was getting this top that I'm wearing and this one and Josh paid the balance. So this is my birthday present from Josh, which is this t-shirt, which Josh disapproves of because it's slightly see-through and I think he thinks a woman of my age should not be wearing things that are slightly see-through and he's probably right and I don't care. But look at that, isn't that, again, animal print, love a bit of animal print. So really nice, lightweight, floaty t-shirt, can't get hold of it, floaty t-shirt in animal print stripes. Love that, thank you Josh, even though you disapproved of it. <laughs> From Aidan Marie, I've got, so they're, they're in a gift bag if you're wondering what I'm delving into, I've got this gorgeous wild jasmine, it says beautiful, beauti beautifully floral notes, beautifully floral notes with hints of fresh citrus, and it is a lovely candle. Really nice candle and a matching reed diffuser, scented stick dewberry. <laughs> so yeah, loving that. Not sure which room to put my reed diffuser. Might have that in my bedroom because well, I've got a reed diffuser in my bedroom. Doesn't seem to make any pong anymore. I think the pong's died. Probably the pong of being in the bedroom with me and Molly has um has killed it out. My friend Tina, who you will have seen in previous vlogs, got me a pack of three. Apple watch straps. So I've got an Apple watch here, I've had this a few weeks now. Um, ever since when I upgraded my contract, the watch was in the deal. And so she's got me these, these are scrunchy straps. These are so fab. So we all like wearing a scrunchy on our wrist, or those of us who've got long hair tend to wear a scrunchy on our wrist quite often. And these are scrunchy watch straps. So it just goes on your Apple watch. And then when it's on your wrist, it looks like a scrunchy. I really like that. So there's a black and peach floral one, and then there's a plain black one and a plain peach one. So a set of three. So very pleased with those. If you can hear Buddy in the background, if he he thought he heard something and nothing happened, so now he's running around being confused. Natalie gave me £25 to use at the Notch.io website. Notch is where I get my little bits for my weight loss bracelet. I need a new bracelet because now I've got my Apple Watch on this hand, I need to wear my Notch on this hand and it's slightly too small for this arm. So I need a bigger bracelet. So she gave me £25. She was going to get me a gift card, but in fact that was worked out so complicated she just gave me the money in the end. So I'm going to get my new Notch bracelet with that. But she also got me these. They are vapes. They are nicotine free vapes. I don't smoke. I haven't smoked for... I'm 49 now. I haven't smoked for 24 years. I was 25 when I gave up. But I did consider whether vaping might help me to to control my sweet cravings, to stop me from snacking. I obviously I didn't want to go into nicotine again, that would be ridiculous. I'm not sure how I'll get on with these, but she got me a pack of five, they were 15 quid, they're disposable ones, they're all fruity flavours, and the idea is maybe it will help me to control my sweet cravings, but also there's because there's no nicotine in them, I won't be creating another addiction, is the idea. So, I think this one's watermelon. Yeah, I think that's meant to be watermelon. I can't remember what the other flavours are, but there's five, and I've had a go on a couple of them already. They're not unpleasant. It's quite, it's not. It's an odd experience. As a non-smoker, it's an odd experience. But knowing there's no nicotine in them makes it a little bit more um, more feasible. And I don't know whether it will help or not, but I thought it was worth a go to stop me thinking about food. I thought if I had a lead, we puff on this. It's, at the end of the day, it's only scented air, isn't it? We puff on that when I feel like snacking maybe it will help and if it doesn't then I've lost, lost nothing by trying and I think my last present I want to show you is this this is from my friend Debbie over the road you've definitely seen Debbie in my vlogs I think that the most recent one she was in was a Costco one this is La Vie Belle which means 
Life is Beautiful, I think, doesn't it? It is um, Lancôme. It's a Lancôme, Lancôme fragrance. I've thrown the box away because there was no way I was um, going to get it out of the box. Okay, absolutely love it. It's such a gorgeous fragrance. Somebody will go, don't crush the scent, don't crush the scent. Whenever I rub my arms together, somebody goes, don't crush the scent. I don't know, it's how I've always tried scent on. It is beautiful. It's the one that's um, advertised by Julia Roberts. I've got Julia Roberts in the posters. So obviously, if I wear this, I will look like Julia Roberts. That is how that works. That is the science of it. Honestly, if you don't believe me, it's true. So that was a lovely gift because it's not a cheap fragrance. I was very, very grateful to receive that. It's a lovely thing. I had a wonderful birthday and I'm so grateful to all my friends for my lovely presents. And I'm also really grateful to Teddy Blake for the beautiful bag that they sent me. So remember to check them out in the uh, links in the description box. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. No, stop, there's more. It's me, it's Eddie and Carla. A parcel arrived today. I'm so glad it arrived before I had finished editing this video because it arrived from Sharon. You may remember Sharon. She's the, the lovely lady who's now two years running, sent me a Vlogmas advent calendar of gifts. So individually wrapped gifts for every day of Vlogmas. And I've done open my advent calendars and there's been a beautiful gift from Sharon every day. And she sent me a gorgeous birthday box, stunning card, which I have immediately put underneath something else. Look at this. It says, have a super birthday. That looks... A bit like a cross between Buddy and Jeff, doesn't it? It says to Carla, have a birthday love from Sharon. Inside the parcel is this absolutely beautiful Kath Kidston treat jar. I think it's supposed to be for pet treats, but I'm going to keep my treats in it. It's got a dog on the top and then around the sides are London scenes. So I've got a London bus. I can see a beef eater. I can see one of the palace guards with the big fluffy hat. What are they called? Bearskin hat. Um, there's a little dog on there in a beef eater outfit. In fact, I think there's more than one. Oh, there's one in a busby. Oh, look, it's just gorgeous. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Thank you so much for that, Sharon. And then also, this is a plug-in electric wax melt warmer. So it plugs into a wall socket that way up and you put your wax melt in the top there <coughs> and melt your wax and just fill your home with fragrance. And I love both of my gifts. And I'm just so glad they arrived in time for me to include them in this video. Thank you so much, Sharon. I love them back to other me. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.